Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at the characters of Dead by Daylight and discussing the connections each of them have to one another, and who they possibly knew of before they were taken into the Entities realm. For this we will only be focusing on the original characters, as from what it seems, each licensed character is contained only to their own universe, within the multiverse, and not overlapping with the main universe with all of the original characters. I thought this was interesting as it's often accepted that there's only a few characters who know of each other prior to the realm, such as Felix and Elodie, or Yunjin and Trickster, but I think there's actually a bunch more. Before we start I want to thank Violet, a viewer who not only gave me this idea, but even noted down a bunch of connections for the characters, so thank you, let's get into it. We're going to start off by covering all of the obvious and well-known connections. Both Felix and Elodie knew each other well and were friends as children. Jeff Johansson attended school with the members of the Legion, and was commissioned to create a Legion mural by Frank. Yun Jin was Ji Woon's producer, recruiting him into Nospin, and later helping him to develop his solo act, The Trickster. Let's now move on to the characters who connect to the most others. The main connecting factor to each of the killers is Elodie. Elodie prior to the realm was investigating the entity and the strange disappearances of people. The most likely characters that Elodie is going to be able to find out about are the killers, what with them being known for their murders. Many Many of the survivors, as regular people, are going to seem less suspicious when they disappear, and are simply less well known also. So let's first do Elodie's connections. Her connections are going to be from her investigations into strange occurrences, that can only be placed down to the entity. For killers who disappeared or were enveloped by the fog, Elodie probably knows about them, with some exceptions. We know right away that Elodie is aware of the twins, after she reads about them. It states in her lore that, she had secured the annals of a witch trial, convicting a mother birthing conjoined twins in the 17th century. So she definitely knows of the twins, but probably doesn't know what they look like. It's likely she is aware of the Trapper prior to the realm also. If she knows her stuff, she'd be aware of the investigations of Benedict Baker into the town of Weeks, and his subsequent disappearance. Further, the odd corruption of Weeks itself, after the mining disaster caused by the Trapper. She is more than likely aware of the Yamaoka family also, particularly because of the odd disappearances of both Kazan and Rin. Kazan was surrounded, bleeding in a stone mill, when suddenly he was consumed by fog and disappeared. This is probably a well-known story at this point, based on the fact that the Oni became a legend. Rin was a more recent occurrence, in 2017, cut many times by her father on the estate, before a fog veiled her eyes. This would have surely led to Elodie investigating them, partly for the occurrence of two fog disappearances in the same family line, but also her role as an artifact collector means she has likely heard of the Yamaoka family and their legacy regardless. Due to her stated investigations into ancient civilizations, it's further probable that Elodie is aware of, or has read about Adiris, the plague of Babylon, and the voices Adiris heard which drove her to act as she did. Elodie more than likely knows of Talbot Grimes also. When on Dyer Island, herself and the other pariahs discover the abandoned laboratory of Talbot, or the Blight. This is further the location where both Elodie and Felix's parents were taken by the entity. More than likely, Elodie has scoured this laboratory, and so is very aware of the Blight prior to her time in the realm. She probably doesn't know what he looks like, but she definitely knows of his work. Elodie has likely investigated Deathslinger and Zarina also, after they both disappeared within the same cell in Hellshire Penitentiary, Deathslinger during the Mad Mick Massacre, and Zarina later on. Both Caleb and Zarina are well known, Caleb for his days as an outlaw, and Zarina as an internationally acclaimed documentarian, meaning Elodie has likely investigated Hellshire and the two of them. Finally, the artist or Kamina Mora is a figure Elodie may know of, partly due to Kamina's fame as an artist, but also due to her being kidnapped by the Black Veil, a group that Elodie followed very closely prior to being taken into the realm herself. For characters like the Doctor, despite his many murders, they will likely seem more like a cover-up by the CIA, and less to do with anything supernatural occurring. Killers who simply appear as killers and nothing more will include Wraith, Nurse, Huntress, Clown, and Legion.
region. All of these are either too low profile to be found through Elodie's research, or their situations largely appear not supernatural enough, or sound more like a myth than something true. Next, let's look at the killers in particular that Jonah is more than likely aware of. He is more than likely aware of the Doctor. The Doctor was part of the CIA during Project MK Ultra, making it probable Jonah is aware of him. For Jonah, it's also probable that the CIA is aware of a number of American serial killers that appear on the killer roster, including Trapper, Nurse, and Doctor. Other characters that many will know of prior to the realm are those with some level of fame. Jane is a character that is likely known by at least every American and Canadian character in the realm, but also the more internet savvy ones from the modern day. This includes Dwight, Meg, Claudette, Jake, Nia, Ace, Feng, David, Adam, Jeff, Yui, Serena, Felix, Elodie, Yunjin, Michaela, Jonah, and Trickster. Jane is a popular talk show host from the US, and further an author, and also with her own fashion line. Even if you're not from the US, you've probably seen most American talk show hosts somewhere, whether it's in passing on YouTube, interviewing someone else you're interested in, or you actively watch one of their shows. It's kind of inevitable. So at the very least, these characters I believe would be aware of Jane before the realm, and know what she looks like, and probably even sounds like. Trickster is equally probably well known among the modern day characters, with K-pop being very popular at the moment, and Trickster likely coming from 2021. This further makes it possible that Trickster and Jane have met in an interview, or possibly in passing in some kind of awards event. As Jane was presumably taken in 2019 though, she possibly met him when he was still a part of No Spin, before his bandmates died. Yun Jin, of course, knew Trickster personally, and also Adam attended a concert of his with his students, so he too definitely knows of him. This means we can probably assume every character from 2018 onwards is aware of the Trickster, aside maybe some of the older characters. So I think Yui, Zarina, Serena, Felix, Elodie, and probably Michaela all knew of Trickster prior to the realm also. Trapper is famous, but not famous in a good way. He is responsible for what is stated to be in his law, the worst mass murder in modern history. This means the name Evan McMillan is likely known by every modern character, or most people even from about the 1930s onward. The murders at the McMillan estate end up with the whole town essentially becoming a ghost town too. So yeah, Evan is probably known by almost every every survivor. Some of them may have even seen his face prior to the realm. A lot of the killers also probably know who he is. Zarina, although not famous, may be known by a few people in the realm, as a documentarian who has received international acclaim. Possibly Michaela, with her interest in storytelling, and the connection of missing her father. She could sympathize with Zarina's story. It's possible a character like Felix could also connect with her documentaries also. Finally, Elodie almost definitely knows of Zarina's dis appearance, after she was taken in the same location as the Deathslinger. Feng, as a seemingly famous esports player and live streamer, may be known by a select few in the realm, namely Dwight and Claudette. I'm going to discount everyone from beyond 2017, the date when Feng was probably taken. Claudette, because of the time she is stated to spend on forums and chat rooms, it's probable she read about or saw some reference to Feng. Dwight worked at Peak22, a dot-com company, so it's probable that Dwight in passing at least heard about Feng at some point. Yui as a famous motorcyclist is going to be known by a fair few in Japan. It's likely both Rin and Adam would know her name, even if it was just in passing. They may have even seen her face if she's appeared on TV. It's not clear whether any of the other characters have interest in motorsports, but if they did, they'd undoubtedly know of Yui. Artist is possibly known by characters such as Jeff, who may have studied her work when he went to art school. It's further possible that Jonah knows of her. When researching the Chilean graveyard, he discovers a case where corpses were eaten by hundreds of crows, almost definitely referring to the section of Kamina's law where this happens. As mentioned before, Elodie also likely knows of her before the realm. Kate has a level of fame as a traveling musician. She's either from the modern day or closer to the 1980s. This makes it possible she encountered the clown at some point, who also traveled with a circus. Some of the older characters in the US may have heard of her, such as Ace, 
piece. At a stretch, producer Yun Jin Lee could have heard the name Kate Denson at some point. Kate really depends on whether she is from 2018 or the 80s. As Jake was possibly a son of a Fortune 500 CEO, it's likely therefore that he's encountered people such as Jane, and maybe even the trickster or Yun Jin. With Jake being in 2016 though, and Jane in 2019, and the trickster and Yun Jin in 2021, this may be a stretch. It's further possible that his family has at some point crossed over with the other rich families of Felix and Elodie. Jake's disappearance would have been televised also, making it possible that most of the Survivor roster may have seen his face, even if it was very brief. Meg has a chance to be known as a Colorado State running champion. Upon her disappearance around a year later from her win, it's likely she would make the news, possibly nationally, meaning some fellow survivors may have seen her face before at the very least. Felix in a similar way as a famous architect could possibly have his disappearance televised, especially as when he was taken, he was working on a large restoration project on Dyer Island. This makes it possible for some of the modern day characters to have heard about him in passing, either due to his restoration project or his disappearance. Let's finally take a look at some of the characters who we haven't covered much yet. The existence of Hillbilly seems largely unknown, as he was kept locked up by his parents. Everyone who was aware of his existence is now dead by his hand. This means Billy and the haunting sound of a chainsaw heard on the now abandoned Coldwind farm is simply a myth in the surrounding area, leaving no one in the realm aware of him prior to getting there. In a similar way, Hag will simply become a legend within the area, and no one in the realm will know of her. Her village is isolated from civilization also, meaning she probably doesn't know anyone in the realm either, even people like Jane. Huntress will likely be regarded in a similar way. Everyone she encountered is more than likely dead. There's no reason for someone like Elodie to investigate her either, as her existence beyond legend is not confirmed. And the deaths that occurred in the Red Forest can be put down to the war. The Legion are likely only known by Jeff. Jeff attended school with them before later leaving Ormond. As the Legion only killed one guy and then disappeared, it's unlikely anyone such as Elodie would ever investigate this. What with the lack of anyone witnessing the entity's interference. In their lore it even states that everyone just assumed they ran away together, convinced by Frank. For someone like Clown, it's possible that Kate knew of Clown, as a travelling performer herself who went all over the country, possibly around the same time in the 1980s. She could have heard stories about him. The way the Curtain Call trailer frames them both, it almost suggests that they have met before. He was stated to be discovered and hunted down, so his killing wasn't exactly a secret, making it possible that Jonah has also heard of him. The tragic murder and sudden disappearance of Rin Yamaoka is likely going to be televised and seen throughout Japan. So the spirit is more than likely known by Adam, depending on when he was taken, and also Yui. The Oni is probably known by Elodie, further his descendant Rin. Rin has heard many stories of her ancestors, and knows of both Kazan and his father Renjiro, this being mentioned in her tome lore. It's possible that Adam's studies of Japan could also lead him to learning of Kazan Yamaoka, or at least the legend of the Oni. Nurse is probably known by those who reside in the area around Crotus Pren, which is possibly in Nebraska, based on Nia living in a place named Full City. This makes it probable that Nia knows of the nurse and her story, particularly as she also likely burnt down the asylum, and further went to tag it before she was taken. It's possible if Crotus Pren is in Nebraska, that both Nia and Nurse would be aware of the Deathslinger, who was also from Nebraska. The story of the Mad Mick massacre in Hellshire Penitentiary, later investigated by Zarina, occurred in Nebraska. Characters who seem to be regarded as regular disappearances, and so likely are presumed dead, and wouldn't appear on the news or anything like that, include Dwight, Claudette, Nia, Ace, David, Adam, and Jeff, meaning no one in the realm would know of them prior to getting there. As Michaela is a recent addition to the realm, and appears to be taken from 2021, it seems unlikely anyone within the realm currently would know who she is, and about her mysterious disappearance on stage. Jonah and his disappearance would likely be covered up by the CIA, much like a doctor. Alright, well, that's gonna do it. I do hope you enjoyed, and be sure to drop your own thoughts on this, or any additions you have, down below. Thanks, and goodbye.